all right guys what is going on here um what's up with you guys uh today for today's video i wanted to um try out the you know the super op teams of uh reps of the universe, team of reps of the universe 7 here on uh their super battle Royale stage i just kind of wanted to like run this stage just like to see just how easy it would be to uh defeat it um so yeah, uh, let's just go ahead and jump in uh, while I speak here. Uh, dude, these loading screens are so sick. They're so nice. But yeah, um, basically for today's video, yeah, that's just kind of what I wanted to see. Just like how easy the OG SBR stage for Super Battle Royale here, uh, how easy it would be. Um, so let's just go ahead and start. Uh, I did bring items here, but I, I'm planning on trying to not use any. Um but we can see how that goes uh as we go far into the uh other stages and such um but yeah let's go ahead and uh here we can do what do we have next turn like goku roshi tina roshi uh we can do we can do this no uh, i'll do this but yeah, um, so yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to go ahead for, uh, and do for today's video, uh, because you know I just know that the uh, while the Super Battle Road original stage is like they're still you know they're still pretty difficult and like if you get unlucky, uh, you can actually you know die and everything. Um, you know these these new units, especially like the UI Goku and the Vegeta, they're just both so busted that like. I really don't see how um, we we would like die or you know even be close to dying in in these uh, stages. Uh, so that's just kind of what I what I wanted to showcase here today. Yeah, see like 11k type disadvantage on a normal like that's nothing. Um, I do know that like the extreme super super battle stage for this team is like maybe one of the hardest ones in the game. Um, so well, I mean, we'll see when that arrives on global. You know, it's not it's not live on global just yet. I think. Uh, here we can do. Yeah, see, like we, like if we had gotten luckier with like supers and uh, crits and you know Vegeta with his uh, additional supers, like we could have easily, easily one turned uh, this stage right here. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, see, like, so far, it's just incredibly easy, right? Like, like, look, free to play LR, 4.7 million. Like, are you kidding me? That's insane. And uh, I, I spoke about this on my video from yesterday, I believe. Um, but Roshi just has so much utility in this game. Like, you can do, uh, you can seal, or no, no. Yeah, he, he does seal with his 18 key. He dodges, he stuns on his 12 key, like he just does so much, right? Uh, here we can go ahead and go free. We, do we have any STR units? We don't have any STR units, but we do have that physical Roshi there, so... Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and do this. Then you can... Uh, I'll just go ahead and lower her attack as well because he'll be fine defending against Rosie at the end since she since she's int so she's, She should be okay um, But yeah, and like even running no items like if you have um, How many revival skills here Four, because you have you know the AGL UI the int uh, Blue Vegeta that's I mean if you pull both right uh, the Roshi and whatever leader skill, uh, whatever leader you bring onto the team as well. I mean, if you bring like Goku and Frieza, then obviously you won't have the extra revive. But if you bring either Vegeta or Goku, uh, they'll also have that revive uh, available. Um, okay, this shouldn't hurt too bad. Uh, but dude, like once Physical 17 gets his easy aim, uh, I don't know. Is this going to be the best team in the game? Maybe like that's not off the off the question, right? Like, cause this team's just so insane. Like, like right now, I feel like the worst unit in this team is either 
that 17 or the Tien and Roshi. And like the Tien and Roshi, they have so much utility as well. Like they in in harder situations, they do uh, get hit pretty hard. You know those first couple of hits. But apart from that, like, um, you know, they have so much utility because they have the lower of uh, attack and defense and the uh, ceiling on super. Uh, which what's the what's another unit that has that? It's the uh, AGL Spirit Bomb Goku. Like, dude, that's a summonable LR skill, with super attack effect, and they just do it for free, right? They're, I mean, they're a free unit plus they're supporting. Um, as well, they're just too good. Uh, here we can do this. Uh, I don't really foresee Rosie surviving Goku if he gets like a double super or even a crit. But yeah, th this team is just insane. Like, um, I, I have seen a lot of people say that oh, this could be the best team in the game, and while it it does have the units for it, uh, I feel like the main issue is that. For it to be the best unit in, or the best team in the game, you need these like Dokkan Fest LRs, these regular LRs. Like, um, I would say like the top 10, okay, let's just list like, not in order, top 10 units of this team. You know, there's Roshi, there's UI Goku, obviously. Here, I'm, I'm not even going to do the active skill. Um, you know, okay, yeah, like... UI Goku and um, Vegeta, right? Who like most? I, I would say most players don't have them. I, that's logical to say, right? Um, you know, there obviously mo a lot more people summon during the anniversary than regular banners, but still, um, there's just so much. Um, uh. There, there, there's so many you, uh, people who don't have either of the LRs. Uh, so yeah, again, like those two, they're summonable, uh, summonable LRs. And they're a, a very, very huge reason of why uh, this team is so good, right? Here, we can do... There's, te there's a... Here, I'm gonna go for you. But yeah, I mean, they're a huge reason of why this team can be considered the best. Um, and then there's also like the uh we can do this or should i go for the seal on so vegeta is gonna hit uh here I, I, i'm gonna go for the seal on yeah or actually no you know what i'm just gonna hit you because um what's his name is uh next turn tian and roshi are on the next turn but yeah so the two, two six-year anniversary summonable LRs. Um, let's let's just hypothetically speak for the global side of things. They literally just came out this anniversary. Not a lot of people are not gonna have them in their box, and you know they won't be back for another three months or four months when they come back for the Christmas celebration. Um, because you. Uh, uh, usually uh, during Christmas there's like the there's the unit um, who releases and it comes with the two anniversary LRs right so like last year it was LR physical Super Saiyan Blue um, Goku and Vegeta uh, right like the Kaioken and the Evolution Blue Vegeta uh, it's usually for the Tanabata celebration right on JP uh, here we will do this yeah or do they share anything with them no uh so yeah that, i mean it, it's usually for that celebration so um we, we, we'll do this just in case we get super um and if jiren survives uh so yeah it's usually the tenabata celebration which uh it just ended on jp like a couple weeks ago and we had the LR Goku and Vegeta who fused into Super Gogeta. So, um, you know, that unit is going to be coming for Christmas for us people on Global. And it will be a banner that has both of those, uh, you know, both M uh, UI Goku and Vegeta. Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. So, 
uh, a lot of people, I mean, they'll either be able to pick him up with coins or with just uh, actual summons, right? But at the end of the day, you know, there's still premium summonable LRs that a lot of people won't, just won't have access to. Um, and then, you know, there's other LRs like the physical, yeah, again, the physical uh, Blue Vegeta and Blue Goku. They're also, you know, a Dokkan Fest LR, so not a lot of people will have them either. Uh, here, in the meantime, uh, while, I while I finish wrapping up, I really want to get a Chain Battle run real quick. Because um, I didn't make a video on Chain Battle. Uh, because, you know, I just felt like there was more content to be, um, to be made on. But I do want to keep a record of this, you know, this Chain Battle season on the channel so i mean i don't really care about the score anymore my score is decent i think i'm top three or four or something like that um but again um here let's see who's the best one to get here okay yeah we can just do this uh but yeah so them three those are all summonable dokkan fest lrs then there's like the lr str ui goku who, again, is also an LR. Uh, he won't really be featured on a lot of banners. You, on any banner, honestly. Uh, unless it's like the... Well, no, yeah, no, no. He won't be featured anymore. So here, uh, you can do this. But yeah, um, so STR UI. Uh, I would say Int UI is probably already, you know, one of the most common units in this game. You like... If you've been playing for any amount of time, you probably do have him. Um, at least, like, you know, I've been playing for four years or so. Um, four years? So, something like that. Four or five years. Yeah, this score tries, but that, that's okay. It, that, it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, my high score there is 104. Um, but yeah. Uh, and then what, what else is there? What other... Uh, Units are there on Reps of Universe 7. Oh, obviously one big one. I'm like, for example, again, these are summonable LRs, right? Uh, I've been playing for, okay, I think I, I started playing five years ago, which is insane to me. But uh, it's just, uh, you know, an example. I've been playing for five years and I don't don't have LR Goku and Frieza. So, you know, as, as I don't have LR Goku and Frieza, you know, a lot of people don't have this SCR UI Goku or this Vegeta or this Goku, you know, like, uh, I, I, or this Goku and Vegeta. So, you know, this team, it has the potential, like it has the roster to be the best unit and the, the, the best uh, team in the game. But again, it needs to have these top tier super deluxe units that a lot of people might just might not have right so um yeah with that said uh i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the, the video here uh i again i do think that the best team right now is probably pure saiyans with uh that new str vegeta that comes out that came out uh because he's just so good right like he has guaranteed crit guaranteed stun for one turn Plus he has like good defense, great attack. Uh, he's probably like one of the most, uh, one of the better, you know, like third slot units that you can run in, in that team. Because, uh, you know, before that it was really held back by like the, the, um, the leader, right? Because we had the physical Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. So, yeah. Um, cause that, that pure Saiyans is just a team that like, I should probably put a sticker on him, honestly. Uh, we can do that in the meantime, but, um, yeah, so cause pure Saiyans is one of those teams that like, you can run so many good units. Uh, for example, you can run like a rotation of, again, these new six year LRs and then the other rotation can be... I don't know, like the Tech Gogeta and the STR Vegeta, you know, the, the Goku and Vegeta who fuses. And then have those uh, Vegetas on the third slot and then, I don't know, have some support unit on uh, the other rotation. So, yeah, that's why I think that's probably the best team right now. 
because uh, that unit is also pretty busted. So uh, again, let me know what you guys think of you know the best team in the game. What or what's your personal opinion on it? Um, again, I do think it's pure Saiyans. If you think otherwise, uh, I really like to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, um, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.